By now you guys probably know about CERN, right? The the place with the six 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 and the logo. You know the ones who have the statue of the goddess Shiva who represents the destruction of the universe? You know, the place that's got this really large particle accelerator that's on the search for dark matter? Yeah, that place. Did you know that the internet was actually invented there? This is on CERN's website. Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist, invented the World Wide Web in 1989 while working at CERN. The web was originally conceived and developed to meet the demand for automated information sharing between scientists in universities and institutes around the world. Yeah, okay. The first website at CERN and in the world was dedicated to the World Wide Web project itself and was hosted on Berners-Lee's next computer. What does this mean? I don't know. But the fact that these two things that I believe play a role in the end times are linked together does not surprise me. So y'all gonna put this out here, news, and y'all gonna tell us that this is some disorder. Everything that they say is the opposite of what it is. Yep. Just wanna say that. Yeah, simple. Once you know what's going on. You see people that look like this, you better fucking run. Yep. Thank you. You, you see, you date you strap anyone out. or you have anyone that look like this in your family. No, Freaky, you know what kind of strap I'm talking about. The one that fires bullets. All right, P put, pray a blessing over them first, so, so they work. All right, get God to bless them first. Bless the bullets and the gun. <laughs> and run. So they do damage. You see, you date anyone or you have anyone that look like this in your family or anywhere. Get them the hell away yep. from you. <laughs> Facts. It's about to get really scary out here if you don't have the armor of God. Mm -mm. Yep. You're already seeing people do careless, hateful acts. We are living in end times. We are living in biblical times. I don't know how else to express and tell you this shit. You think we're gonna just sit around people like this on a train or the bus or be yeah, outside this with this known. knowing that social, not social media, but the news put this statement out. For a reason. And we're gonna be next and sit around and be around people that look like that? Nope. And now everybody out here who's watching the news or seeing this video knowing what this look like, we're not gonna take this lightly. It's war. These people don't have a light. These are people of darkness. We already know who they are and what they is. There's a huge energy shift happening right now, guys. And it's going to happen on April 8th, and that's why they want everybody out there to see this. That's why they have National Guards deployed. And that energy shift is gonna take effect that day and night. Darkness is gonna happen, and you're gonna see these demons even more. Yeah. This is the reason why a lot of people be getting attacked, under attack, minding their business, a lot of weird shit happening, going on. People doing underhand tactics, selling their, selling their bodies, selling their soul, just doing things that is low vibration. You are going to see a lot of God's people. You're going to see a lot of good people and suffer. And you're gonna see a lot of evil ones die and suffer. Y'all not hearing me, y'all not getting it. This is scary, man, and I don't like talking about this. But this is real, man. It's fact, so it's what's happening, unfortunately. This is real. It's what the world has done. It's you what think people, we gonna see something like people this? People have done to the world. Me personally, I see something like this on a train and a bus. It's on site. <laughs> You can't tell me nothing because they already put it out here and I know exactly what the hell it is. We all know what it is. Game over. Mm -hmm. Let's take the time right now and realize they really came out on the news and told us about demon face syndrome. Condition. 
something that has never been existed ever in humanity in time ever. Demon face syndrome? Right before the solar eclipse, right at the time that Nickelodeon and P. Diddy and all these things and stars and everything is crumbling. They're gonna tell us about demon face syndrome. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep, it does to on their demon agenda. Demon face syndrome? Out of all things you could have called it, <laughs> demon face syndrome. When you see people have these type of weird faces. Yeah, they could have called it just hallucination. I mean, of course, that term already exists. But, I mean, they could have come up with something else. Again, guys, they put it right in our face. It's like they're mocking everything we think and everything we believe. They put it right in our face. They tell us, they tell us what it is without telling us what it is. They tell us what it is in a huge, huge circle. And... Even though they know that it's real, that what these people see, when they see people's true face, when they see these beings for what they truly look like, demons, they're going to put that in the name and call it a condition, a disease, something that you can't help. Like, like, it's, like it's, a, it's a fabric of your imagination. It's crazy. It's, it's a demonic syndrome. What the? Does that make any sense? Mm. Demon face syndrome? It's a thing where you see people that have face shaped like a demon? No. That's normal to you. Something that has never transpired. All of a sudden, that's what they diagnosed it. They have to come up with, with this name. They have to make a name for this. Yep. This is not something that is. This is something they have to think and come up with because they know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's demons. Simple. They are testing it and running stuff in the lab and knowing that these is happening. And now the people that are seeing these things, they're not, they don't have any problems. Nope. They're seeing demons. Seeing the truth. Something that they know is going on, something that they know is happening. And they try to manipulate and deceive you. So when you do see it, yep. there's nothing wrong. But there is. <laughs> yep, it is to them. It's a big problem for the people running things that don't want us knowing the truth. Yesterday, I talked about how CERN is planning to use this hydrogen collider again on April 8th during the solar eclipse. Some of you wanted a bit of evidence, and as you can see, they are planning on actually smashing the protons together on April 8th. But there's also another scientific event happening during the solar eclipse that's pretty interesting. NASA has stated that they will be launching three rockets directly at the solar eclipse on April 8th. They're apparently doing this to study how the atmosphere is affected when light temporarily dims over a portion of our world. It's also worth mentioning that they've done this before, launching three rockets at a partial solar eclipse back in October. But what's strange about this launch is that the project is named APEP, A-P-E-P, -E which is named after an ancient Egyptian snake deity. According to Egyptian mythology, Apep was a serpent deity known for being the god of destruction, disorder, and chaos. Oddly, when you dig deeper, this deity was known for trying to attack the sun and bring darkness upon the whole earth. Obviously, this is just mythology, but why would NASA, an organization that's supposed to be propelling humanity towards a brighter future, associate one of their projects with an entity known for chaos, disorder, and destruction? And similarly, over at CERN, they have a statue of Shiva, which, according to Hinduism, is the god of destruction as well. Yes. And it accelerates protons around in a circle, uh, both ways. That one, one beam goes one way, one goes the other way. And they go around 11,000 times a second. So that's a very close to the speed of light. 99.999999% the speed of light. And then we cross the beams and collide the particles. And in those collisions, you're recreating the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. A terrifying discovery has been made by CERN's Large Hadron Collider. The Hadron Collider is one of the most advanced forms of technology in the world. 
However, the new detection has left scientists speechless. What does this mean for our understanding of the universe? Are we venturing into unknown territory that's best left untouched? Recently, Joe Rogan, the well-known host of the Joe Rogan Experience, has shed light on the hidden secrets of CERN and the recent shocking phenomenon, what exactly has been discovered. And are the implications of this discovery? Let's find out. The Large Hadron Collider, located beneath the Earth near Geneva, is proof of human ingenuity. This 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, known as the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, is operated by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Established in 1954, CERN has become a global hub for scientific collaboration, featuring 23 member states and a congregation of the world's brightest minds. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN is more than just an impressive scientific tool. It is at the top of scientific success, aiming for discoveries that go beyond the ordinary. At its core, the Collider is a particle accelerator, a machine designed to propel protons at velocities approaching the speed of light. These protons, traveling through the Collider's massive ring, complete over 11,000 laps per second. Particle accelerator. That sound familiar to anybody? Any any Flash fans in here? That is insane. It's right off of the sh right off of the TV show. That's how he that's how he got his powers. The day the particle accelerator turned on, it uh, there was a malfunction, and you know he got his powers. A lot of other people got hit with what was it called, the metagene or something, and they had powers had different all of them. Whoever got hit with it had different kind of powers. Of course, he could, you know, go really fast, the Flash, and just go for in and out from in a millisecond to get to wherever he wanted to go. It's crazy. That's what they're trying to do. It's insane. They put stuff right in the TV shows. Let's go. Complete over 11,000 laps per second. Mm. This phenomenal speed is necessary for the Collider's primary objective which is to recreate conditions similar to those present at the birth of the universe. It's a race against time and space, where the fundamental particles of our universe are thrust together, unveiling the secrets within our universe. You need to contact God, then, in order to get the same effect, in order to, in order to get the same type of things going on that created the universe, because the you know, Big Bang Theory happened. He's the one that created it all. And I don't think he's going to help you out on this one. Especially seeing what you're trying to open with all this stuff. Oh, why does this thing not play? Come on. Something mysterious has been detected at CERN, says Joe Rogan. And it is concerning. But what is this new discovery? And why is it so terrifying? Before we seek these answers, we must understand the physics behind the Hadron Collider. The science behind particle acceleration in the collider is both complex and fascinating. Protons, the positively charged particles within an atom's nucleus, are accelerated using a series of electric fields. These fields propel the protons to near light speeds, an operation essential for the collider's experiments. Upon reaching these speeds, the protons are smashed together, Mimicking the energy levels of the universe. That thing even looks like it did in the flash, the particle accelerator. It looks the same. What is going on? Energy levels of the universe's early moments. These collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the sun's core, providing a glimpse into the universe's developing stages. The engineering behind the collider is equally impressive. The collider is equipped with 12 32 dipole magnets, which bend the beams of protons, and 392 quadrupole magnets, focusing these beams for collision. Prior to the collision, another type of magnet is employed to squeeze the particles closer, enhancing the likelihood of impactful collisions. The precision involved in aligning these particles is extraordinary. It's like firing two needles from a distance of six miles apart and trying to make them meet precisely in the middle. These magnets are not the only fascinating element of the collider. The entire sit. Have you heard about this yet? I want you to keep this picture right here in mind. And keep this one in mind as well. Them pictures were from the opening ceremony of CERN, which is an underground scientific group that will be operating on April 8th. 
Now, I'm sure you know what's happening April 8th, solar eclipse. And I'm not saying that CERN has anything to do with the solar eclipse, of course. But why are they just now announcing that they're going to be operating on April 8th and they're going to fire up the Large Hadron Collider again? In this operation, they're running in Switzerland. Look at how big that is. I think it's massive. What is the goal, guys? Their goal is to find the God particle and basically prove science right. Find out how the universe was created and disprove that God created the universe. But look at this. Their symbol has three sixes in it. Remember that photo I talked about earlier? And this one? The photos, they come from their opening ceremony, as I mentioned earlier. You may be wondering, what is that? What is it supposed to be? Well, that, that is a Baphomet, a satanic symbol. The big question is, why would they have that at their opening ceremony? To be honest with you, no idea. But the opening ceremony was very concerning. Like, look at that. You can watch the opening ceremony on YouTube. Look at that, though. That's... What is happening? Well, do you guys remember the Netflix series Stranger Things? Basically, in Stranger Things, the scientists opened up a portal. This underworld. What happened when they did that? It opened up a gateway where demonic beings came into the world. Right after they announced Demon Face Syndrome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Like and follow for more. I post daily. Do you think CERN and what they're doing in the solar eclipse has anything to do with their new announcement of demon face syndrome. So I guess we got to talk about this April 8th eclipse. NASA's firing three rockets up to the moon's shadow. What? Why? Well, apparently they're measuring atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path. And that's why they named their program Uphep after the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology. You know, the one who was the nemesis of Ra, the serpent that ate the sun. It seems like quite a stretch to get that acronym, right? Have you ever noticed they don't name their rockets or their space programs after the Apostle Paul or Moses? Just saying. Oh, and also on April 8th, CERN is firing up their Mandela Effect machine. I mean, their Hydron Collider. Yeah, that's um, interesting timing, right? Only to go in the way back machine, a Lester Crowley famous Satanist contacted Iowas, the devil himself, on April 8th, 1904. So 120 years to the date, this this happens and if you wonder why nasa might name their project after a serpent deity well this is their logo so yeah once again it's all connected <sighs> so I explain to me what this has to do with science or anything just if you can answer that question and be straight with yourself if you can have you can say that with a straight answer and come up with an actual explanation with how this has anything to do with science then please drop it in the comments let me know let everybody know so we can stop all this. Otherwise, you know what's going on here. Why would you do something like this unless they are trying to do exactly what, it's, what it says right here on the video? Who wants to 
back like this. Who wants to put on an animal fur and all this bullshit? I mean, what is this? I mean, we know what it is, but I'm saying just just eliminate all that. Let's say it had nothing to do with any of this devil worship and stuff. Why would you want to act like this anymore? Anyway? Did you guys see the Gothard Tunnel opening ceremony for CERN? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. So watch this. Here we have arrived at the I would. portion of this ceremony, where again, the entranced workers are walking in step up a platform towards a large screen. As you can see here, the workers are scaling the rock wall, and they are digging a tunnel, it appears, into this wall. As the mm. workers continue to excavate through the rock wall, it doesn't so much appear to be a tunnel. The more I look at it, it seems to be a portal that they open. The workers appear to be doing some sort of ritualistic dance to gain access or to have the portal open up for them. Once the portal opens and starts to take effect, the workers start to undress. And oh, things start to get a lot weird. The workers that were digging the tunnel appear to have made a self sacrifice and hung themselves in the portal. You can see on the screen that the sacrificed workers or the, the workers that committed suicide are spiraling down into abyss, probably the pit of hell. The further they go down, you will see hands reaching for them and clutching for them as they continue. That's where they're going, all right. The three workers reach the bottom. They return as three spirits. So, my question is why would they be performing a ceremony like this for a science experiment? Did you guys see the Gothard Tunnel opening ceremony for CERN? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Hey, me and her right here. That's just what I said. <laughs> According to Max Laughlin, the Large Hadron Collider is the device that led humankind to move into a new universe. The young prodigy recorded videos where he elaborated on his assertions and the portal that CERN researchers opened. Okay, so we're on a verge of a paradigm shift. They've cracked open a portal or doorway or whatever you want to call it from another dimension. Uh, by their own admission, they are already in communication with some something that has a personality and has ability to communicate. Um, and the, the information that they're receiving must be very high level information because they're feeding it to, to laboratories and uh, technologies all across the planet and what you said which is so sobering uh, that video on the internet that captured the it was an open satanic worship ceremony I guess in the Goddard tunnel yeah. You know, it shows the proof here. You see the devil worship right before the ceremony, right before they use this CERN equipment. Now, the yeah, come on. They're just doing a science project. I know that's what I did when I had to do a science project in school. Didn't you guys, didn't you uh, wear goat heads and dress in animal skin and dance around a certain way? That's what everybody did, right? The Bible tells us that there will be the seat of Satan, the synagogue of Satan. Now, where do you think that's going to be? Could CERN be a place could, in Switzerland? Could this be? Who knows? This is very amazing. They're actually talking to something that has a personality. You heard what they said. They're actually communicating with these things. They're opening up portals. This is not make-believe. This is actually taking place. Demonic entities are communicating with these people, and they are so so blind to what Satan is doing that they're going right along with it. The Bible they makes blind? it plain. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. He's wrong on that. I disagree. If not, I mean, if they don't know, they're just dumb as hell. They, uh, if they're, if they're that, if if that's what they think, they shouldn't be working there, cause they're damn idiots. There's nobody that thinks that. I don't think. They're not being fooled. They know exactly what the hell they're doing. They know who they're talking to. Come on now. That we shall believe the lie of the Antichrist. This will be how he makes his entrance. Now, whether it's CERN or not, I can't say. There could be something even more far advanced, which probably will be. 
before too long it's a part of it. it will be the introduction to the antichrist but this is where it starts where you see it you see this you see hollywood you see everybody worshiping satan you see everybody mimicking wearing the goat uh, skulls and all this kind of stuff and they think that that's all cool and everything they don't realize that they're leading themselves unto their own doom According to <laughs> they realize about to see is me asking Alexa about the serpent deity program that NASA has created and they will be shooting three rockets at the eclipse on the day of the solar eclipse on April 8th. I didn't believe it. Someone sent that to me. I'm like, come on, they don't have a program called Serpent Deity. <laughs> but they do. Please tell me what you think. As soon as I ask Alexa, comment. Because what the f can you tell me about NASA's new program called Serpent Deity? NASA has launched a new program called Serpent Deity as part of the Artemis program. The program, dubbed Viper, aims to develop technologies and techniques for sustainable lunar exploration. The initiative is focused on exploring the lunar south pole, which is believed to contain water ice and other resources. Viper's objectives include conducting detailed surveys of the lunar surface and assessing the feasibility of extracting and using lunar resources. Alexa, is the serpent deity going to be doing anything during the eclipse? From wikipedia.org. In Kpompongan mythology, Lao is depicted as a bird-like dragon or serpent that causes both solar and lunar eclipses, however, its features are closer to the demon Rahu. Also, I can tell you the fun holiday of the day when I hear your morning alarm. Would you like me to set up that routine? No, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Alexa, what is NASA's serpent deity going to be doing on the eclipse on April 8th? In ancient Egyptian mythology, the serpent deity Sobek is sometimes depicted as pursuing the sun god Ra, and during certain instances nearly consumes the sun disk, resulting in an eclipse. The April 8, 2024 total solar eclipse will be a significant astronomical event that will be viewable from certain regions in North America, including Canada, Mexico, and parts of the United States. Alexa, is NASA going to be doing anything with the solar eclipse on April 8? From the MalaysianReserve.com On April 8, NASA will host live coverage of the eclipse on the agency's website and the NASA app beginning at 1 p.m. Alexa, will NASA be shooting rockets at the solar eclipse as part of the Serpent Deity program? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Alexa, what's the Serpent Deity program at NASA? The Serpent God Deity Program is a NASA program that aims to study the asteroid named Sekhmet, which is associated with the Egyptian serpent deity of the same name. The program will utilize the spacecraft that collected samples from the asteroid Bennu to obtain better insights into the asteroid and its composition. Check this out. Revelation chapter 2, Jesus. Did you know that the Bible actually exposes where Satan's city is? Did you know that the Bible actually exposes where Satan's city is? Check this out. Revelation chapter 2, Jesus said this, I know where you dwell, it's where Satan's throne is. In the days of my friend Antipas, the faithful witness who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. Well, if you look up the martyr of Saint Antipas, it was under the reign of Nero in a very specific city. This city is Geneva, Switzerland. And did you know that there's actually an organization in Geneva called CERN that's attempting to split between the natural and the supernatural veil? Literally attempting to open a supernatural portal to the underworld. But that's not even the crazy part. Go watch the video that I pinned in the comments to learn the whole story. This is getting wild. The National Guard is going to be here now for the solar eclipse. This article today was released in an Oklahoma newspaper saying that they will have guardsmen present in McCurtain County for the solar eclipse. So what they're going to do, if something starts happening, if, 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 if fire starts raining down from heaven, what are they going to do, pull their guns out and take care of it for us? I mean, why are they here? Please answer that question. What what does anybody think these people can do? So why are they really there? Come on now. Let's think.
But things get much weirder. The 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear unit will be housed in Broken Bow, in addition to 110 to 150 Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers. They're also urging residents to stock up with one to two weeks of food in advance of the event and to have full fuel tanks. They're also... Why? Why do they tell you to fill up with gas when you're not supposed to be going anywhere? That is the dumbest thing. We know why. I mean, because they're going to raise the gas price, so go fill up your car, of course. More money for them, but I mean, that, but you ask people, why are you filling up with gas? Because I'm not going to be able to go anywhere for several days. So, why are you filling up your car? car with gas because i'm not gonna go i can't go anywhere so what do you need the gas for you dummy <laughs> just think come on also saying that it's likely that communication facilities could be overloaded possibly making it difficult to make cell phone calls similar warnings are going out in different states including noblesville fire department in texas and apparently schools are canceled this day and people are going on Twitter writing statements like this. Something strange is definitely happening. My kids in three different schools all got notices that school will be closed that day. What do you know about this solar eclipse? As always, let me know what you think about all of this down below. Kind of surprised that they shut the schools down, to be honest with you, because that would be an opportunity for them to, you know, to move some kids without maybe any trace of it, you know what I mean? If they were in school and not at home with their parents or whatever. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked at that part. So I've seen a video of this girl talking about this man that said he's seen demons on his roommate face mm -hmm. and on his girlfriend face. He said that he was sitting on the couch, Time and when go. his roommate walked in the room, his face started to change, and then when he turned to the side, his ears started getting long, Ooh, and then go. when he seen his girlfriend, his girlfriend's face started to change to a demon, mm -hmm. and then when he go to the doctor, get what they say, demon face syndrome. Yep. Let me tell you something. The dark spiritual world is wide open. The one that got eyes, you can see. Sir. That man's eyes was open. There you go. God will reveal the demons to us. So we can tell people, these demons are living inside the flesh of these people. When you go to a doctor, they call you crazy. Let me tell you something. These people know what's going on. Yep. They want you to be used to seeing demons as just being normal. Mm -hmm. It ain't normal seeing a demon in somebody's face. I've seen it. But when you see something like that, don't tell no doctor. No, no, absolutely. The only one should know is you and God. Hey, that's, if you that, that's wow, that's crazy. That's the best advice. Uh, that's the best thing anybody said on any of these videos about this that I've watched so far. That That's exactly what I was saying. Because we, we, we heard earlier how the guy went to the doctor. He went and reported it. Or did he go to the police? I, I don't know if he went to the police. But he went somewhere and he reported it. It's like, uh-uh, no. That's a red flag for everything evil, everything going on. They're like, yo, we got a guy. Uh-uh, no, we got to take care of this. Let's get in front of this stuff. If you do tell somebody, make sure you tell somebody that know about that kind of stuff. Yeah, make sure you talk to somebody that knows about spirituality, the spiritual realm and demons and all that. Because right now, this year, going to be the darkest year you've ever seen. Mm. Go look it up. It's a man in Tennessee. Went to the doctor. No. They said a demon face him. Okay. So when I see a demon, I'm crazy, right? Yeah, oh yeah. No. Yeah. No. The greatest trick the devil ever did hey. was make everybody believe he didn't exist. <laughs> Y'all check it out. Hey. for real. Come on now. So I've seen a video. Facts. Okay, everybody's heard of CERN in Switzerland, I'm sure, by now, especially if you're into the paranormal portals, aliens, extra-dimensional, interdimensional beings, and things like that. Exploring the unknown, the supernatural, you are definitely familiar with CERN in Switzerland. And there are big rumors about CERN in Switzerland, and that they are talking to these entities. I just
just want to say, I just want to talk about that for a minute. I want to see what you, what you guys think about it, what your opinions are on this, and, uh, you know, by all means, share. And uh, let me know just uh, what do you think if they're talking to anybody? Who are they talking to? Could it be demons? Could they be talking to interdimensional beings or demonic beings that have nothing but bad things for us? That are trying to make it through these portals. And maybe they did not even have a, a way to get here until CERN started doing what they're doing and or opening these portals. And now they're here. There's so much conspiracy about that right now. And people are saying, well, this is why we're seeing more and more paranormal activity. And we're seeing more. Well, a lot of that has to do that we have more and more technology. But at the same time, could it be possible that CERN has opened a portal? And that this portal has allowed entry for demonic entities or interdimensional beings that do not have our best interest. And maybe these beings are coming in the form of these craft that we keep seeing. And why do they keep going to the ocean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off just a little bit of, of the story. Okay, could that have something to do with it? Is this portal that CERN, that it has opened, is it connected to these other things like the ocean? And, you know, NASA doesn't want to explore the ocean anymore. And, and people think that's very mysterious that they're not doing that. And it's a little funny that they're not. Uh, what's going on there? Uh, but does it have anything to do with that? Because the ocean makes up most of the planet. The ocean is everything. It's very little land. I know you see such great land and you think that's it. No, most of everything is, is the deep, the ocean. They talk about these clear spheres and the dark cubes and all this kind of stuff. Well, what is this really? Is this something that they've seen for decades or because there's rumors that these have been seen before? Or is this something to do with CERN? Is this something connected with CERN? Is this born more now because of CERN and what they've got going on? And I know you say maybe I'm giving CERN way too much credit. I'm saying, yeah, and I probably am. I'm, I, I'm going the extra mile with it a little bit, yeah. So, you know, you can leave your opinions on it. Personally, I think they've opened por portals. I think they have. I think they've, con they've contacted these entities. I don't know if they're demonic entities or not. I don't know if they're de demons. I don't know. Some people say they've even opened the portal to hell. But if they've done that, that means they came here because you're in hell. Yeah, I'm a firm believer of that. And that's why uh, Satan is here is because this is where he's at. This is his kingdom. Yeah, you're in it. Yeah, this, this life right here, yeah, it's, it's pretty much it. Just so to speak, just so you know. But I don't think CERN has anything to do with opening the portal to hell. But it is a question. And who's calling the shots at CERN? Who's calling the shots? Could it possibly be the same ones that's calling the shots in Washington? I know this is a mix of several things, but these things go together, guys. It's all one thing. They all know what's going on. Leave your comments. Okay, everybody's heard of CERN in Switzerland, I'm sure by now. Stop and listen. Just when you thought you had heard all of the crazy coincidences about the April 8th eclipse, we find out that CERN has been preparing for the past month to go full power on April 8th during the total solar eclipse in North America. Their goal, while well, the article states, is to give them insight into the formation of the universe and even its ultimate fate. Also, they'll be on the hunt for dark matter. That sounds pleasant. And yes, I know that's a scientific name for antimatter, but let's take a look at this deeper with spiritual eyes here. As some of you may already know, they erected a statue of Shiva, the destroyer, right there at the facility in CERN, who also appears to be standing in front of a portal. And if you think it's interesting that a facility that want to find the end of the universe would erect the statue of the destroyer, it's even more interesting that it was built on what used to be the Temple of Apollo. And also, the people that live there believe it's a gateway to the underworld. Now, in Revelation 9, verse 11, it talks about the king over the pit, which would be Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue, his name is Apollyon. Apollo, Apollyon. Interesting similarity there. Well, on March 8th, they began running their preliminary test as they geared up for full power on April 8th. What else happened on March 8th? 
Mm, that's right. It's the great night of Shiva, where they celebrate Shiva. Definitely not a ritualistic date to pick, though. Especially not for a facility that has an erected statue of Shiva in the middle of it. Now, in case you think I'm being drastic, what does the culture think of Shiva? Well, it believes that Shiva is the god of destruction, said to be the one that destroys the universe at the end of days. So nothing nefarious to see here. I'm sure that it's all just a coincidence. Well, if you have spiritual eyes, you'll see that what they're trying to do is tear into another reality, or as you will, open the pit to the great abyss. It's a spiritual pit that will be opened. CERN has already admitted to open many black holes, so we know that they're tearing through the fabric of realities. I just don't think they know what's waiting for them on the other side. Or maybe they do. Either way, stay prayed up, trust in Jesus, follow God, and love one another. It's time that we repent and we come together as the body of Christ. Much love. Shalom.